Welcome to Home Savvy. Today I'm rolling up my sleeves and getting down and dirty because I'm showing you how to transform an old, outdated piece of furniture into a modern, chic centerpiece that you'll love in any room of your home. I'm your host, Patrice Williams, and it's time to get started. Today we're making the old new again by reviving this thrift store chair. We got this at a secondhand store for just 30 bucks. For this project, you'll need the following tools. We have rust oleum satin spray paint. We chose the color cinnamon, but you can go with any color you like. And you'll also need an all-purpose sanding sponge. And we also have cardboard, painter's tape, and some plastic. We chose this chair because it has a nice touch of personality, but it also has a clean enough palette and it's simple and sophisticated, so we can really zhuzh it up and make it our own. Our first step is to start sanding. And a quick tip, and especially if you've never sanded before, you want to keep going in the motion that you start in. So if you start front to back, then keep that going throughout. Now that the chair is all sanded, it's time to move on to covering our fabric. We just want to make sure that we don't get any paint on it. And that's where our plastic and our painter's tape comes in. We just want to make sure that the fabric is protected while we're painting. And I'm just going to take the tape and put it right along the edge so we're nice and safe and secure. Our next step is to start using our cardboard throughout the project. And this is really just to ensure that we don't get paint everywhere once we really start going. And I think that we're ready to go. We've got everything sanded, taped. But before we do that, let's check in with our Home Depot associate, Chanel Layton. I know she's got some great tips and tricks for us. The Home Depot has a great selection of products and offers great savings on paint and spray paint. Be sure to tell the Home Depot associate exactly what object you're painting so they can get the right spray paint for the job. When spray painting, make sure you paint in the same direction of the wind to ensure it doesn't get in your face. If the furniture you're repurposing has original details that you'd like to keep, there are a variety of pencil options that you can use to make sure that you keep the definition. Thanks to Chanel for her amazing tips, and now I have my final project. If you have any rough spots that you want to smooth out, just go over it again with a piece of sandpaper and then another coat of paint. Now we've created a custom chair and it only set us back by a few dollars. Let's take one final look at our finished project. Thanks for joining us today and a special thanks to Home Depot for having us in their store. We hope this episode of Home Savvy was helpful. Log on to MadamNoir.com forward slash home savvy for more videos like this and for links to resources used in today's video find us on facebook at facebook.com forward slash home savvy show or follow us on twitter at home savvy show thanks for watching here's how you can enter for a chance to win a 200 dollars gift card to the home depot step one follow madame noir and subscribe to our youtube channel step two tweet us using the hashtag home savvy show and send us pictures of your vintage piece of furniture that you would like revamped.